So this is Kenneth here. I figured I'd just do a quick video update on some hardware development I'm doing since none of my projects are really anywhere close to being complete right now. Uh, what you're looking at right here is the classic microchip ENC 28J60 uh, Ethernet controller. So what it has is on one side it has an SPI serial interface and then it does all the interfacing needed to talk to actual 10Base uh, T Ethernet. Uh, which is, you know, one of those things that would be really cool on most embedded projects. Uh, I managed to get this all to fit on just one little square of perf board, which uh, became incredibly challenging because I was quickly running out of space. The real break in trying to figure out how to do this was I, fig I found this company called Electroboard that makes these really nice breakout boards. So this goes from uh, any anywhere up to 10 pin modular connector out to 0.1 inch square. These boards are really nice because on the back here you can see it has pads. Is the, the whole board has a ground plane and then each pin has a pad. So you can then do surface mount components between the pin and the ground plane. So like I have over here a little 8 pin SOIC package on here. with It actually has a little surface mount crystal right here. And on the bottom I have little bypass capacitors and all the power rails. So that's just on the on the module here, and that's really kind of nice. Uh, they they come in a huge variety of sizes, so I, I strongly suggest that you check out their website to see if there's anything that uh, on there that you could use if you wanted to play with some surface mount chip. On the controller side, we just have a at Mega 16.8, although that's going to get upgraded to a 32.8 once I actually start doing some serious development on here, and a little voltage 3.3 uh, volt voltage controller. I downloaded uh, firmware uh, from online to test to make sure that the actual all of the magnetics work, and they do, uh, which a bunch of people online said couldn't wouldn't be possible with you know all this nasty wire and not a real PCB, but it really works, and right now it doesn't do much more than resolve ARP, but uh, the potential is here, so this project will eventually m move forward.